Not only Apple releases new products, Motorola has introduced its new, foldable phone, with a huge display on the cover. Motorola is coming back to, tech talk and beauty. Hello, my dear and beloved ones. My name is Caroline, I'm so happy to see you and tell you something new. You're on the, tech talk and beauty, channel. If you're not subscribed yet, it's a big mistake. We're the ones who talk about the latest gadgets and technology. And we're also very beautiful, which means there's something to listen to and watch. We're waiting for your likes and subscriptions. For those who need it, turn on the subtitles. They're also prepared for you. Let's go. Motorola Razr 40 Ultra. Finally, it's officially presented. And honestly, it even surprised me a little. For example, the secondary screen occupies almost the entire upper half of the back panel. Motorola has officially unveiled the flagship foldable phone Razer 40 Ultra, whose design and specifications leaked online back in winter. There are differences from its predecessor, both externally and internally, although the chip remains the same. The main highlight of the new generation is the huge external display that covers the entire lid. It shows notifications and other useful information, and during shooting, it becomes a digital mirror. The main display diagonal is 6.9 inches. It's a pulled panel with a resolution of 2640 x 1080 pixels, a refresh rate of 165 Hz, peak brightness of 1400 nits, and HDR10 Plus support. The secondary display diagonal is 3.6 inches. It has 144 Hz, 1066 x 1056 pixels, and Corning Gorilla Glass 7. Inside the phone, you'll find a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor and a 3800 mAh battery with 33W fast charging support. There are three cameras, a 12 plus 13 megapixels main camera with wide angle and a 32 megapixels selfie camera. It has IP52 water and dust protection, and the fingerprint scanner is built into the side. The Motorola Razr 40 Ultra is already available for ordering and will soon be on sale. The base version with 8 256 of a gigabyte costs $800. Alongside the Razr 40 Ultra, Motorola introduced a simpler model of a foldable smartphone, the Razr 40. The junior device differs from the Ultra in the external screen diagonal, which is 1.47 inches, while the main display remains the same at 6.9 inches. It features a Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 processor, and the battery is even larger at 4200 mAh. The price is $560. Also, earlier Google officially unveiled its first foldable smartphone, the Pixel Fold, with 7.6-inch internal and 5.8-inch external OLED displays. It runs on the Google Tensor G2 chipset and features the most durable hinge among foldable devices. At the same time, according to leading tech bloggers, the Oppo Find N2 Flip is the best foldable smartphone to buy in 2023. In terms of appearance, it resembles the Galaxy Z Flip but excels in several parameters. You know, it's actually quite amusing. A bunch of manufacturers are releasing foldable smartphones, and Apple came out with the Vision Pro glasses. I understand that they are different things, but with glasses, you can't walk on the street you can't multitask. But the form factor of foldable smartphones is something new. For instance, I'm tired of the same old candy bar designs, even though I really love the iPhone. What do you think about this? Is it better to buy a new iPhone or Motorola Razr, or is the Vision Pro the best option? Dear ones, do me a favor and write your thoughts in the comments. Let's have a conversation. My name is Caroline, I'm looking forward to your likes, it would make me happy. Kisses and love you all. See you tomorrow.